it's an obligation of mutual respect. If the relationship goes bad, then it's like, go get your own place. We're all grown adults that don't need a father figure anymore. You don't belong in my home if you can't respect me. Remember, it's my home. It's not yours. If the relationship goes bad, then you gotta get the hell out of my house. Cause it's my house. Mm. You gotta give me respect. <laughs> Cody, go sit down somewhere. Like really, you obviously do not know what a, being a decent parent is about. Mm -hmm. um, but it's Mary. And Alma. What about you guys and like? Subscribe. And comment down below. And do not forget to subscribe to our Patreon for live reviews of Sister Wives, you guys. <laughs> yeah. Um, But I just feel like Cody, like his type of parenting it's really not even parody like it's just so backwards like just because your child has an opinion or they think that hey something that mom or dad is not doing right and they decide to come to you and talk about it like a civilized human being exactly. you now think they have to get the hell out of your household because they have a voice yeah that doesn't make not one lick of sense at all you know, and it's just really shameful because he really, really believes it. It kind of gives me the mentality kind of like of like a, an, a, an obsessive man. Not like an obsessive man, but like a man who, not saying that this, not saying this about men who pay the bills or whatever. But like, you know, men who pay the bills, not because they genuinely believe that that's their role, but because they want to control a woman. Exactly. It's like, okay, I pay all the bills. So, you know, it reminds me of those men who are basically like, you know what, I pay all the bills. So if I cheat on you and I do this and I do that and I'm giving you soft life, then you need to shut the hell up. Yeah. Like Derrick Jackson. Oh, before um, soft life was the thing, I was giving her a soft life. No. But you were also that's giving her. That's not soft No, that's but hell. But you were you're also, giving her hell. That's what you, you're giving her. Yeah, but you were also giving her STDs. You're probably giving her gonorrhea. You were also making her crazy so much so that she's watching your sex tapes. Mm. And then she also can't even mother her kids because you're providing. So she has to sit down, shut up, and deal with whatever you're de like putting her through. So that's what it sounded like to me. And now. And he wasn't providing. You were no. providing some space for her. Maybe financially, you but that's providing it. providing a good environment. Right. Like you weren't providing for her health, for good health. It wasn't even making financial sense because at the end of the day, she'll end up ill. And you got to pay for that. Like, yeah. what exactly were you providing? Yeah. And then, Cody, also, you're not really providing a space for your kids to no. really speak their mind and show know. up in society. Like, no. if you want your kids to just put up and shut up, how are they going to be able to stand up for themselves in society? How are they going to be able to speak their mind to people when they've had a parent who does not allow them to speak their minds or they exactly. shut them down because you think whatever they're saying is disrespectful? How exactly. can they actually speak their mind yeah. when they have a parent like you? And then the I'll thing try is, to control them with money. Exactly, and it's like so you don't well, really want your kids to grow, like you just don't yeah. care about them at all. And you're just like, if you say anything out of line to me that seems wrong, you gotta get the hell out of my house. Yeah. And but if you question me, you have to get out of my house. Who the hell are you for me not to question you? Are you God? Are you a perfect human being? Or if you mistreat my mom and I say something, um, that's a problem. Yeah. You have to get out of my house. Like, it's just ridiculous and it's ridiculous that you actually think that that's okay and then you say it on TV with mm -hmm. all the disgust and all the venom and all the hatred in your voice and mm -hmm. in your tone I just I feel bad I just feel so bad for the kids because they did not mm -hmm. ask for this life mm -hmm. we did not ask to have to deal with this they didn't ask to be put on television not at all but you had to be on it because you had to be the big man with the four wives and the one with ramen noodle hair mm -hmm. and I'm running around and I'm shirtless in my little underwear in the little nasty and lake with the prairie dog poop like I, 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 I don't understand what's going on like, I really don't like it don't make not one lick of sense. Remember when he had stripped down and he was oh, there running so through? Me. That was a sight that I will never be able to erase from my scalp or my head. <laughs> so like, with all of that foolishness, I feel like it makes sense for the kids to just really ignore Cody, not talk so. to him, and not even waste their time. I think so. Because it's a because you know you're not going to get through to this parent. So what's the point of even trying to talk to them and mm -hmm. trying to reason with them or whatever the case may be? Yeah. He's never going to understand. It's not like he's even trying. He doesn't care. He's to. not trying to to grow or anything like that. And you know something? I feel like if Cody had not had kids with Robin. I don't think he will be like this. So quick to, to like I don't think dismiss so. them. I don't think so. Now all of a sudden, oh, I I have my young children to take care of. 
the kids are not asking you to take care of them. They're not asking you for that. But if they're having a problem with something, they should be able to come and talk to you about it. You know, and you all talk like adults. You say that you want, you all need to show each other mutual respect. But it doesn't seem as though you're showing them any respect right. for their ideas. They can't say anything to you. That's not very respectful. No. You know, you want them to say what you want to hear. That's not respectful of their thoughts on things, you know? Yeah. So it's just like what Gwen said. When he was talking about somebody and Gwen thought that the person was a racist, I can't remember who it was. Yeah, he, he was got upset. About, he stormed out she, or whatever. Started, did he insult her also as he yeah. stormed out? I think she was talking about the guy with the trail of tears or something. I can't remember who I that was. I can't remember who, what president that was, but uh, he got so upset just for her having a different opinion than him. Than him yeah. About, you know, a president that you probably, uh, well, a president that you never knew. Yeah. This is not your family member. Like, you know what I'm saying? But when is your family member? Yeah, but I feel like he did that just because he wanted to go spend time with Robin. He wanted an excuse to leave the house because he didn't want to be there. Yeah. Yeah. Another excuse to say, when I come here, it's so difficult for me to be here. These women, like their mother, make it so difficult for me to to stay here. It's the same thing he's doing now with Savannah and um, Janelle. Yeah. This apartment. Is, is so uncomfortable. It doesn't look as though I'm even in here. I feel awkward. I, I don't think they want me to be here. Like he's already setting that up, you know. If they didn't want you to be there, they would not have opened up the door. They would have just told you, get the hell on. Just like they how Christine went you. and packed all your stuff and told you, get the hell out. They would have done that. Well, they, but he wants an excuse not to be around. He doesn't want to use Janelle no more, unfortunately. Yeah. And, and the thing is, she never would have told you where she lived, but this is a new place. Yeah. This is a new apartment. So the fact that she gave you the address to come see where she is, you know, she wouldn't have done that if you weren't invited. Yeah. But it's always someone else's fault. Mary said so to Christine before. As she sat there with it's her broken leg. It's always someone else's fault and not Cody's. And if you don't get with that plan, you're going to find yourself on the outs with well, him. Mary found herself on the outs anyway, even though she Regardless. bent over backwards to do everything to make comfortable for him. It didn't work out anyway. Yeah, well, that's what he'll do. He will take, he will be searching for anything you do or say, no matter how small. Look at Mary, just tell him, I need you to leave right now. I need us to take a break right now. It could have been a break of that day because she'd yeah. be so rude to her. Yeah. But he took that, latched onto it. You kicked me out. You kicked me out. I'm not coming back. Was it because of the person, <laughs> the catfish? That's why you kicked me out? Because you wanted to talk to them in peace? You know, goodness well, that's not the reason. And she didn't even kick you out. She said, let's take a break. But you were being awful to her. Yeah. Nightmare. So, really. I mean, it just goes back to Cody will never take accountability. Not at all. For anything whatsoever. Yeah. But it's Mary. And I'm uh, hey, what you guys like. Subscribe. And comment down below. And do not forget to subscribe to our Patreon for live reviews of Sister Wives, you guys. Bye. Thank you.